Hi children and welcome to our third World Book Day story time. And today we're going to enjoy for the third time the story of the tiger who came to tea. Now I love sharing this story with you and it's one of those stories that I can read over and over again and I've read it so many times but I love it each time. Okay, here's Sophie and Naomi. Look, they're about to receive their surprise visitor, aren't they? And we, of course, know who that's going to be. Once there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Aha, what a surprise. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in, tiger. I wonder how the tiger knew that they were about to sit down and have their tea. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. So if we have a little look at his menu, the menu for tea today, so the list of things they're going to enjoy, is cake, chocolate buns, sandwiches and biscuits. So lots of sweet treats and of course, lots of delicious tea. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. So the tiger's enjoying everything, isn't he, that's on offer at this lovely tea table. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? Perhaps Sophie's mummy's a little bit embarrassed because all the food's gone and she's got nothing more to offer. So would you like a drink, Mr. Tiger? And the tiger did. He drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. So I wonder if Sophie and mummy even had a cup of tea. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Ah, he's a very clever tiger, isn't he? He knows where the food is kept. He knows the food is stored in the kitchen. So he wanders into there to see what he might find. I think he noticed that there was saucepans full of food cooking and he could smell them. And he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. I can see carrots, milk and chicken. I think there's half a lemon there, some onions, tomatoes, a lettuce, maybe a cabbage. He's eaten all of it. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Look, he can't believe his luck. He's eaten all the food off the tea table, all the food out of the pans, all the food in the fridge and all the food in the cupboard. He's a very happy tiger. And Sophie is amazed at the amount that this hungry tiger can eat. He drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. He's such a happy tiger, drinking everything that he can. And Sophie's feeling really happy, look, and she's taking the opportunity to stroke his tail while he has his drink out of the tap. Then he said, you. Thank you, Sophie and Mummy, for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went, just like that. 
Well, Sophie's mummy went back into the kitchen. She said, oh, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper, so for daddy's meal. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. Let's hope he's not feeling hungry because there's nothing to eat, is there, children? So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. So it's exciting, look, because it's dark. I can see the moon, the street lamps are on. And Sophie is very excited to have this little treat going out in the dark. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. So I wonder if they've been to the cafe before. And they had a lovely supper, so lovely food, with sausages and chips and ice cream. I can see Sophie, look, enjoying a sausage there. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And do you remember what Sophie bought? They also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. So a very large tin for a very large tiger because he was extremely hungry or extremely greedy or a bit of both. But guess what? He never did. And he's saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now, I really enjoyed reading that story again, children. And I would like you to click on the next link. And we're going to have a little think today about what would happen if we opened the door to a surprise visitor that we weren't expecting a different visitor to a tiger. So we're going to have a think about that in the next video. We're going to think who might our visitor be and what might they like to eat. Okay, so I'll see you in just a moment. Click on the next link.